This is the SW Motec skid plate. It's a really nice heavy gauge aluminum skid plate. It's got, I mean, the welds on this thing are beautiful. I mean, it looks fantastic. A huge upgrade from the original. Now this skid plate attaches to the bike exactly like the original with the exception that SW Motec is really into, and I really like this, they're really into these rubber isolation mounts. So with the, uh, with the skid plate you'll get a bag of hardware and in here you've got these uh, rubber bushings. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install these rubber bushings. should be four of them in there. So once again, I've talked about installing bushings before in some of my other videos, but if you have trouble, you can use some soap and water to help. But uh, go ahead and whoop, go ahead and see if you can install those into the uh, mounting holes. It should be pretty easy and straightforward. There's one there. Uh, so you've got these two mounting holes here underneath, and then you've got these two oval holes up front that mount onto the original uh, skid plate mounts on the bike. So go ahead and put these rubber bushings in. Now once you've got those rubber, uh, the, the, the rubber bushings in there, there's these um, steel flanged spacers, if you can see this. Uh, and they install into those bushings from the top side of the uh, skid plate nothing magic about it and now the skid plate is prepped for installation so this uh, so all four bolts that SW Motec supplies are the same size uh, you're gonna want to put one of the flat washers on each one of the bolts and then of course, just like everything else we're doing, we apply a, a medium strength thread locker to that bolt. Now one of the differences uh, between this and the stock mounting is there's a couple of spacers and just, I didn't measure it, but just by eyeballing it, I would say this thing's maybe, oh, maybe seven millimeters thick, a spacer. And where that's gonna go, that's gonna go on these rear, on these back mounts. So we're gonna, slide your bolt through the hole in the rearward mount with a spacer and then we're going to come up underneath and just get a start on that don't don't tighten anything up just just finger start it and then we'll uh, do the same thing on the other side and then on the and then on these front two bolts uh, do the same thing um, Put one of the flat washers on it, then apply a medium strength thread locker. And then through the bushing, and then find that hole. Thank you. 